Hi again. Okay, I'm here with the last technique that I'm going to do for the June featured art technique. And this technique I'm going to show you on the outside of a book as far as working on creating a background for your book cover. And I wanted to do this because we're using pretty much the same um, supplies that we've been using and I think that's really good. So this, I wanted to show you, this is a, this is a book cover that I made earlier and this is for, this is a board book that I had just made, one of those pre-made board books that I was working on. And this cover technique is what we're going to be doing. And you can see it's got like the um, spray webbing in that that we've been using and it's really just an extremely wonderful texture. Um, I know you can't see it through the hair or feel it, but it is really interesting. Um, it's super easy to make. It's just a little time consuming and it takes very few supplies. So what we're going to do to you to make this is you're going to need whatever book you're going to be using. And this is just a, an altered book I already had going, so I didn't have a cover done on it. Um, you can do this a couple different ways. When we make this, it takes time to dry, unfortunately. And because you're going to be doing two different sides, you're going to either need to do one side and allow it to dry and then do the other, um, or you can kind of lay your book out um, and do it that way. However, I have to let you know that this is kind of, I want to say crunchy. I can't think of any other word. So even though you can't see it on this book, I did do the covers with this technique and I painted the ends with the same technique, but I didn't glue anything onto them. Because if you do that with your spine, if you had this all on here and made it crunchy and then you need to move your book, it's going to end up breaking the spine. So as we do this, I'm just going to do just over to the edge of the book and that's what I'll suggest for you too. What we're going to be using is um, matte medium, oops, sorry, matte medium, um, it doesn't matter, you know, whatever kind of uh, light textured adhesive that you have. Um, this works great. Um, and we're also going to use tissue paper. Now when I did the first book here, I just used plain white tissue paper, believe it or not, but you don't have to. You can use any kind of tissue paper that you like. And even though this is my favorite Starbucks tissue paper, um, has all kinds of writing on it, you're not going to be able to read this writing when it's done. And as we do the technique, you'll see why. So it really doesn't matter if you want something for the color of the paper or, you know, just for something like that. That's fine. Use whatever you have on hand. Don't go buy anything. So I'm going to back this up so you can see what I'm doing. It's really quick and we'll get started.